Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and welcome to another episode of Speed Secrets. For today, we're working with our good friends over at FAST and their impressive XFI management system. When it comes to tuning, there are really two major elements. We've got air fuel ratio and timing, and they're both important. In terms of air fuel ratio, it's very important not just for power, but to keep the motor alive. But for this episode, it's all about timing. Before we get to our test, let's talk a little bit about ignition timing. What we mean by timing is igniting the mixture relative to piston position. You see, the internal combustion engine works like this. We supply it with air and fuel, we compress that, then ignite it. The expanding gases force the piston down and create horsepower. The problem is it's a dynamic equation, meaning it's always changing, and so are the timing needs. So what we'll illustrate here today is what happens when you optimize timing on two different combinations, one naturally aspirated and one with boost. Our first test was run on a naturally aspirated 408 LS stroker. But the reality is optimized timing works on any engine family and any combination. Using the XFI management system, we dialed the timing in to 24 degrees. Run at that timing level, our LS stroker produced 533 horsepower at 6,400 RPM and 479 foot-pounds at 5,000. After dialing the timing up to 30 degrees, the power output jumped to 547 horsepower at 6,600 and 491 foot-pounds at 5,000 RPM. Optimizing the timing was worth 15 to 17 horsepower and about the same amount of torque on our naturally aspirated motor. So now let's find out what happens when we add boost. Our second test was run on a supercharged combination, which for us meant all we had to do was add boost to a combination we already had. Now typically, boosted motors run less timing than a naturally aspirated one. You'll remember on our naturally aspirated test, we started at 24 degrees and went as high as 30 degrees. On our supercharged motor, we started way down at just 18 degrees and only went up to 21 degrees. Now there might be additional power from even more timing, but as you'll see, even that three degrees was worth significant power. Equipped at 18 degrees of timing, our supercharged LS produced 791 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 655 foot-pounds at 5,100. After upping the timing to 21 degrees, the power output jumped to 839 horsepower at 6,900 RPM and 681 foot-pounds at 5,900. So that extra three degrees was worth as much as 35 horsepower on our supercharged combination. And it just goes to show you, whether it's naturally aspirated or supercharged, the right timing is seriously important. I'm Richard Holdner. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at FAST. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.